Konnichiwa, that's what it is. So, it's June 5th, I think, today? Uh, yes, June 5th. Which means I've been here for nearly six months. I came in mid-December, so in a couple of weeks' time I'll have been here for six whole months. It's crazy, I can't believe it's gone so quickly. Um, in that time, I've uh, learned Japanese uh, probably about this much. <laughs> Um, so, like, I'm working with people that speak mostly English, and my job is to speak English. Um, lots of English speaking, like people from America and England and Canada and Australia, that like, live around here and work with the same companies I do, so I hang around with those people. Um, so I don't actually get very much opportunity to speak Japanese, like, compared to what you'd expect from living in the country. So uh, that's kind of slow going, but part of what I'm trying to do to learn Japanese more because one of the main reasons I've come here is to try and learn Japanese. Um, uh, I've always been fascinated with learning other languages. I think it's good to have a second language. I think people that only ever speak one language are you know, missing out. Uh, they're not stretching themselves. I just think it's intellectually fun and interesting. Um, I enjoyed learning languages at school. So it's a bit of a challenge for me. So I'm here to do that. So as part of that, um, I've been doing lots of things like studying kanji, um, which is like the complicated Chinese-based um, symbols. I've been trying to like read, like comic books and things, simple simple Japanese stuff to try and uh, keep up with that. Um, I bought a Japanese 3DS so I could play um, Pokemon uh, and I also got a couple of games on there that are Japanese so I'm trying to play through one of the Zelda games, or the 3DS Zelda game at the moment which is all in Japanese and that's kind of a story based game but you can muddle through and just work out like it's got puzzles and stuff so that's quite easy. Um, but trying to translate the d dialogue and stuff while I'm playing it is kind of a little exercise and trying to learn more Japanese. <coughs> but one of the things I've done is, um, like I used to watch, back in England, occasionally I'd watch like a Japanese film with subtitles, um, just to like get an idea for the sound of Japanese voices and things, and, and maybe see if I could learn a few words here and there. Um, so what I've tried to do recently is watch a Japanese film, a film in Japanese with no subtitles. I went for a film that I know. So this film, um, I'm about to show you uh, a couple of clips from the film in Japanese. You you probably know this film from England, from from Eng in English. Um, so the challenge here, I'm going to play it the first time. I've got three clips from the film. The first time I'm going to play them without showing you the clip. You're just hearing it. So you'll hear the Japanese voices. So can you guess what the film is? Can you guess what scene from the film I'm doing? So uh, here's clip number one. Uh, in Japanese, but hopefully it's a film that you'll recognize. So, uh, just the audio first. So that's two characters from the film getting to know each other, introductions, they mention their names. Uh, well, in fact, actually, one of the characters gave the other character his name. So, did you recognise the film? Did you know what scene it was? Here it is in complete audio-visual form. Star Wars The Force Awakens So it's out on Blu-ray and DVD obviously now um, and around here it's all in Japanese so I borrowed the DVD from my uh, one of my colleagues uh, to just to get the experience of watching it in Japanese just for fun So I did recognise a couple of the words there um, now I know the script from the English version quite well I've seen the film three times in English um, plus bits and bobs of it there on YouTube and stuff. Uh, so it's quite interesting to watch it in Japanese. Some of the times they say this stuff in Japanese, but most of the time I don't understand the Japanese, like I don't know the words. Sometimes I do understand the Japanese and it's the same as the English, like there he was telling him his name was Finn and he was like nice to meet you and everything. Um, and Finn was like, yeah that's good, Ido, that's, that's good, that's good, I like that name. Um, but sometimes there's also bits where it's different, like the dialogue in Japanese, I'll catch a word or two in Japanese that I recognise and I'm like, oh, that's not what they're saying in English. And I think the reason they do that, sometimes they change the dialogue a little bit on the words because they're trying to match the mouth movements of the actors. So if the actors are using lots of fast moving or maybe not so fast moving, they have to try and match the 
the, the Japanese words to the mouth of the, the English. It doesn't always match up exactly. It's quite obvious that they're not speaking the same language, but they do change the dialogue a little bit here and there for that reason. Um, so that's quite interesting. Anyway, uh, so here's clip two, uh, just the audio. Which clip is this? Same film, Force Awakens, um, Star Wars. We just met Finn and Poe Dameron, uh, which have the same names in Japanese, just pronounced slightly differently. Um, FN2187 is uh, FN Nietzsche Nana. That's what he said. So they changed the letters in the numbers in Finn, Finn's name, Stormtrooper name, FN2187 has been translated. But uh, not all the time is it translated. Okay, here's clip number two. Um, what's the scene? Droid wa Corellian YT model no Kamot Sen de Toso. Droid wa Fune o Nusunda. Yes, say Kakuniwa. Kyoryok Shana. Recognize the scene? The mentioned uh, Finn again, FN2187, FN Nietzsche, Hachinana. That's the Japanese for 2187. You should have recognized the voice of one of the main characters, and possibly at the end there, a bit of a clue as to what was going on. Here it is. ドロイドはコレディアンYT um, learning that the droid that he's seeking has been taken away. I think BB-8 is actually called BB-8. Same. BB-8. 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 Just because it flows. BB-8. Whereas FN-2187 is translated. Um, yeah, so that's Kylo Ren. His voice kind of sounds similar. They've done the same synthy effect. It's quite remarkable, really. They've got to record all the audio, all the video, uh, all the voices, again, with Japanese actors, apply the same effects, like Ray, uh, Kylo Ren's uh, altered voice. And then dub it over the sound effects from the film. It's quite a big project. I guess they do it for every language. I don't know. It must be a lot of work. Anyways, so did you guess that one? Here's the final clip, number three. Um, I'm guessing you'll get this one within a few seconds. So good luck. Who's speaking? <laughs> So who was that? And what was the scene? So he's only in one scene actually. Uh, you probably caught his name maybe if you were listening carefully. There was Han Solo was mentioned, he's got the same name. Han Solo! And the name of this character. あれは半ソロ。私ですよ。C3PO。お分かりにならないかも。腕がこんなですから、どなたがお見えになったと思います？と、あ、あ、失礼します姫。いいでしょうか。C3PO。あ、C3PO。In oh. Japanese, they don't have a C sound like the the hiragana line. If you've seen my hiragana video, which I did part one of a while ago part two of which is due out, you know, anytime soon. Um, you'll know that Japanese sounds are always consonant followed by vowel, but well, almost always. Um, so the, their alphabet is in lines with consonant with all the different vowels. So the first line is R, E, U, E, O, Ka, Ki, Q, Ke, Ko. The second, the third line is S, but instead of Sa, Si, Su, Se, So, it's Sa, Shi. The C is replaced by Shi. And C, 3PO has that C sound in English, which they can't do in Japanese. So it's changed to Shi. She three PO. So they kept the uh, letter number three as three, just like in BB eight dot, as opposed to FN two one eight seven. Um, don't know why they make those choices. I guess C three PO just rolls off the tongue, and so does our BB eight. Whereas FN two one eight seven is meant to be like a an ID, a name, n not a name, but an ID. Even though R two D two and uh, C three PO and BB eight are all IDs just as much, but they kind of became names, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, anyway, interesting. So, did you guess the clips? Can you imagine watching a film like that in Japanese? And guessing it all? Figuring it out? 
uh, yeah. So anyway, um, so that's kind of a challenge. Different things I'm doing to try and learn myself some more Japanese. It's slow going, as I've said. Six months in, still don't feel like I've really learned much more. I probably have picked up quite a lot, but it doesn't feel like it. Certainly, I don't feel like confident to go and have conversations in Japanese at all because I just don't do that. I don't have conversations in Japanese with anyone. Um, maybe I should go out and just throw myself into social situations with Japanese people more often, but I'm a bit. I'm not sociable enough to do that sort of thing. Maybe a braver person than me would be able to pick it up quicker. But hey, I'm going to be here for another another six months, plus another year or two even after that maybe. I, I'm planning on being here for a couple of years at least, so hopefully, bit by bit, I'll get there. Once I start reading, once I can read properly, like once I've learned enough kanji to be able to read comfortably and starting to pick up more vocabulary, that reading really helps. Like I teach people in England kids in England that you know reading is really important to increase your vocabulary to increase your knowledge of grammar and stuff like because when you're learning a language like you need to expose yourself to it so hopefully when I get reading it'll be better um, but I guess nothing beats good old conversation really for literacy skills not literacy like um speaking skills anyways uh, so that's me for today I uh, hope you're having a good weekend uh, let me know in the comments if you guessed the uh, clips I've recorded this video already, so I'm hoping this video does. Uh, I've already recorded this video once, but I had the clips like full screen, as opposed to on my little TV here. So uh, it got taken down immediately as soon as I uploaded it. It was copyright striked because I've uploaded content from a film I don't own or whatever. So hopefully, given that it's small and over here, uh, I'm not going to get this taken down straight away. So we'll see. So this is uh, uh, attempt number two at this video. So anyway, uh, leave a comment down below if you've managed to guess those clips and everything, and. Uh, if you particularly want to see any other scenes from Star Wars in Japanese, maybe I can arrange it. Okay, sayonara!